Getting a driver's license in Oman. Oman attracts a steady stream of tourists and investors all year round. Once you arrive in Oman, one of the essential tasks is renting a car and hitting the road. It's crucial for every newcomer to be aware of the driving conditions and the process of obtaining a driver's license. Stick with us to learn about the prerequisites for securing a driver's license in Oman and make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video. For tourists, the combination of their home country's driving license and an international driving permit IDP allows them to drive in Oman for a maximum of 90 days. Once this duration expires, they are required to apply for an Omani driving license. If your intention is to become a resident of Oman, you'll need to obtain a certificate after obtaining a residence card. If you hail from a country outside of the Persian Gulf Cooperation Council, you'll typically need to attend a driving class and pass a test. However, citizens of the UK, US, and several EU member states are exempt from taking the test. In case you verify with the Royal Oman Police that your country is also exempt from the in-person test, you should follow the procedure applicable to citizens of the Persian Gulf Cooperation Council countries, which will be further elaborated in the remainder of this video. Irrespective of gender, obtaining a driver's license in Oman is open to individuals for at least 18 years old and those who do not have a medical condition that might impede safe driving. The initial step in acquiring a driver's license in Oman involves registering your personal details with the Royal Oman Police Department ROP and coordinating with a certified driving instructor. It's important to note that all instructors are native Omanis. Furthermore, female learners who prefer female instructors have that option available. The ROP will provide a green book to the learner, which serves as a record of all driving test activities. This book also includes a compilation of traffic signs that will be assessed during the regulation test. In Oman, the driving examination comprises two distinct phases, which are detailed as follows. Phase 1. The initial stage encompasses three tests conducted on the same day. The sign test, the parking test, and the slope-based car control test. With diligent preparation, especially for the sign test, and sufficient practice, passing all these tests in a single attempt should be achievable. I'm going to provide some helpful tips for each of these tests. Traffic sign assessment. The traffic sign evaluation is a brief verbal examination conducted by an ROP officer to assess your familiarity with essential traffic signs. Typically, this examination lasts only a few minutes. You can find a comprehensive compilation of traffic signs in the test booklet provided by the ROP. Likewise, within the examination premises at ROP offices, uh, you will encounter this place featuring traffic sign diagrams. Parking evaluation. The parking examination holds a pivotal role in the initial stage. Consequently, it is crucial to allocate sufficient practice prior to mastering this test, ensuring a smooth pass. Car control assessment. As implied by its name, this assessment measures your ability to maneuver your vehicle on an upward incline without any noise, instability, or uncontrolled backward movements after coming to a stop. Upon successfully completing this Stage 1 assessment, you become eligible to proceed to Stage 2, which entails a practical test conducted on their actual driving conditions. To conclude, it's essential to reiterate the key driving regulations in Oman. Adherence to the legal age requirement for obtaining a driver's license, which is set at 18 years old. Tourists in Oman are permitted to rent cars 
if they are over 21 years of age, while individuals below this age are not eligible to rent vehicles. Disregarding a red traffic light constitutes a highly severe offense applicable to all individuals, whether they are citizens, immigrants, or visitors. If someone commits such an infraction, they will not only face a monetary penalty, but will also be deemed culpable and subject to incarceration in accordance with the requirements for acquiring a driver's license in Oman. Individuals with a history of imprisonment are restricted from exiting the country. Failure to wear a seatbelt is a crucial safety requirement and any branch of this law is subject to stringent penalties. Additionally, consuming foods beverages and using mobile phones while driving is strictly prohibited and constitutes a serious violation. In accordance with the prerequisites for obtaining a driver's license in Oman, specific designated parking lots and areas have been designated for parking vehicles. Therefore, parking in public places such as in front of bus stops, a taxi stands, office complexes, commercial buildings, and the like is prohibited. Failure to pay the parking fee in public parking areas will result in a fine of 10 reals. If your personal experience contrasts with what we've discussed, kindly leave a comment to share your insights. Likewise, if your experiences resonate with the information we've provided, please reach out to us to aid those who are in the pursuit of employment opportunities in Oman. For more information, visit ibdco.org. Stay tuned.